What go on viewers, hope everybody doing good, respect again for tuning in to yet a next update and in this update today we have an interesting update to share with you, the general member of Jan Public and also my viewers and subscribers because what, yes so the popcorn got detained in the UK however him never even sleep a night in a jail as some immigration paper basically him did actually make a claim and say yo, Andrew Owens and Andrew Owens government cause all of this basically the information with the artists get so after everything was said and done, Bird Samuels, which is popcorn lawyer, followed out and addressed the situation as well so people stick around me, no no I miss that. And also Andrew Owens did a press conference recently you know, where he tackled some gang member related thing and address also some gang leading thing and some music thing so to speak. Like in other words him like I say yo, musician and Doers of music are turned out for be gang leaders. So viewers, if you definitely want to see what Andrew Wallace has said also in this video, stick around and remember, it is also important for you to drop a like on this video and subscribe if you haven't subscribed because over here so you get the latest happenings in a dance hall. And remember, you know, share with five friends and ten family members. So let's jump right into the information at hand right away, viewers and subs. So earlier today, Bird Samuels take it to Twitter where he leave this exact tweet. Yes, people. Popcorn harassment at the Heathrow airport is a consequence of Jamaica state putting a red flag on his name. Can you believe an artist who carry our flag I, with no criminal record is being embarrassed in a foreign country because his own country say he is a wrongdoer. People are that our popcorn liar basically fouled out and saying and the liar is a bird samuels. Many of you may, may know and may not know of popcorn liar, which is bird samuels because what? He's a very popular liar as well. You know? Me feel like him did a deal with cartel case at one point in you know? but overall even Russian fouled out and talking you know? because what? Russian is being blacklisted as well, you know. Every airport to him pull up, I don't know if they are true them affiliated with the cartel. But guess what? Go on, you know? We are read with dance all mag as say basically where Andrew Owens officer towards this basically even Russian Russian can you believe it uptown Russian Foreign Affairs Minister Camilla Johnson Smith yesterday sought to dispel claims that Andrew Owens administration had anything to do with popcorn container detention at the airport each time he entered the UK but not long after billboard charting producer Russian said that he too has been harassed by airport officials every time him enter the UK as well so basically it's like the government are blacklist all the cartel people and basically are even people who work with cartels of people but no way you think in the comment section because basically at that mess you go on here so because no way you go come after popcorn the previous video I upload few months back when the UK government did detain popcorn them that say yo Mr. Gang leader you know people yeah people yeah according to what the government of Jamaica are saying about yes or no you see the government are actually a denied people so people me know what you think in the comment section no, because what that is my opinion basically so right about now I want to watch a video of Andrew Owens press conference basically I try to break down some gang related activities and I try to highlight certain things that are going on in our society so people check out the video and remember like the video and leave your honest opinion in the comment section as it relates to debt as a result of criminal activity gangs there are three actors that we have to pay attention to dons who lead gangs and who use guns, that is one feature. Guns, the other feature. And we have to pay attention as well to our young people, particularly our young males who get pulled into gangs, organized by dons, and given guns. The main cause of violence, of violence that creates the kind of fear, indeed terror that we are seeing in some communities, is as a result of the organized 
criminal activity of gangs and guns and the young men in particular that they recruit. So the government of Jamaica has to act. The government of Jamaica cannot sit by and see innocent Jamaicans going about their business on their way to work or from the market and having to be scoring for their lives. The government has to act. And that is the government's responsibility. We, of course, must act within the boundaries of our laws and constitution. And we rely on our courts to give us guidance and interpretation. And we will always dutifully, responsibly follow the guidance of the courts as they interpret the law. As we see the law and we go through our interpretation as well, we make the best policies that we can until the courts pronounce. But it must never be said that the government did not act. As Prime Minister, you elected me to discharge my duties fully in support of the defense of the first and most important right, which is the right to life. 